welcome to AVID 2022. We are here at uh, Lang AG in close to Cologne and on stage is Tobias Lang, CEO of uh, Lang. Thank you for having us here today, Tobias. Thank you for coming, Florian. It's an honor. <laughs> and our um, guest is um, Greg Vida, CEO from Lightware. Welcome, Greg. He's in Budapest currently. Hello from Budapest to everyone. Hi, Greg. Thank Greg, you. hi. Good. Greg, the past two years, the pandemic has changed a lot. And one of the winners uh, of the pandemic was probably streaming. Um, everyone tried to do streaming. So what are the latest trends in streaming and what are the new standards there? Uh, what the, the big change was regarding the streaming that uh, uh, those companies who were um, software streaming companies like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Hangouts, they became dominant. And some other guys who were hardware-based streaming service, they, uh, they are kind of shrinking. And uh, what we decided uh, to develop peripherals to allow these uh, streaming services to have the best connectivity to their AV system. What I mean, we have the Taurus UCX, which allows USB-C laptop connectivity or HDMI connectivity or other USB peripheral connect connectivity uh, that would directly connect to such a UC room, which is using a streaming uh, over the internet, which connects diff distant uh, points. Mm -hmm. On the other side, when we talk about live events, uh, low latency applications, uh, we may consider network AV already because there are many different standards. Uh, the world is basically divided in two directions, the 1G guys and the 10G guys. Uh, Lightware has the 1G Vinx solution, which is a quite cost-effective uh, <clears throat> device, and we have the high-end UBEX. And uh, right now we are developing the 10G solution, which is based on the SDVOE latest ASIC development that will allow very, very low latency, 0 0.1 millisecond latency. And this is an extreme uh, advantage over the one gig solutions, where the best one gig solution can provide only nine millisecond latency, which is not suitable for live events, live applications. Okay. Uh, on the other end, uh, there is always this debate between compression or bandwidth. We choose the higher quality and, uh, uh, or, and higher bandwidth because the 10G allows us, even the 20G allows us the absolute pixel-perfect extension of video signal. And this is the, the, the genes of Lightware. So our mission is to deliver every pixel of our customer untouched and uncompressed and no delay. Okay, Greg, talking about DNA, live events are the DNA of Lang, obviously. So what have you been your experiences with streaming and with, with events in the past two years? Well, through the pandemic, a lot of people got in touch with streaming, which is a benefit for us because um, the challenge um, Greg just um, described uh, was there in, in before of the pandemic, but most people uh, did not have an understanding um, of the challenges uh, which you have uh, uh, regarding AV over IP um, or the question, um, do you want to have um, less latency um, uh, or do you want to have uh, high bandwidth um, uh, but compression and so on. And um, regarding the fact that they all had to face challenges like streaming via internet with CDNs and so on, they got a better understanding. And now it's much more easier to uh, teach them what is the best solution for live events. And as uh, Greg described, it's very important uh, to focus on low latency. So uh, the choice Lightware did um, is the way to go. That's, that's a good um, decision. Mm. Um, Greg, you mentioned USB-C as a new standard. Could you elaborate a little bit? Is that what, what that does it change? I mean, USB is on every notebook now you have USB-C. So is it the new, the new standard also in, in, in the streaming world? Oh, yeah, uh, we love USB-C. Uh, the reason why, because uh, w on one end, uh, all laptops and most of the uh, peripherals already start using USB-C connectivity only. And what USB-C delivers to the customers that on one single cable, they can deliver video uh, to, to, to their AV system. They can get USB webcam uh, data or other USB peripheral data both on USB 2 and USB 3 data rates, plus the most important one, charging. So one simple cable connectivity 
charges my laptop and it provides all the, the desired connectivity what requires. So that's why uh, we believe that uh, Lightware in the recent two years became the expert of USB-C. Uh, we started with our Taurus product development and Taurus on its USB-C ports provide all these signal layers which are allowed by USB. And most recently we are introducing USB-C cables because we learned that there is no good quality uh, long distance USB-C cable available on the market. So we started to develop our own and very soon we will have uh, 4 meter and 5 meter uh, USB-C copper cables as well as we already delivered the 1, 2 and 3 meter USB-C cables. That's quite great. So what do you envision? What is the future of streaming? Will it be, you mentioned 10G, will it be 20G, um, or uh, what will change in the next two to five years? In the next two to five years, uh, I'm expecting a kind of uh, uh, 8K uh, compression, 8K delivery over 10G network, which will use some kind of light compression, typically the DSC, what DisplayPort is already using, and it's already introduced and uh, more and more applications on, on, on the USB-C. Uh, the, the, the streaming world will become what I'm expecting better and better compression standards, what will allow us to leverage the existing bandwidth, like, let's say 10G, uh, um, with, with, with higher quality video uh, data by using a better compression. Good. Also, a lot of metadata is going uh, up and down, back and forth, because we talk about network. So next to video, lots of utility data, uh, utility signal layers can be extended on the very same topology, including control, uh, and telemetrics, and so on. Okay. Well, Greg, thanks for your insights. And Tobias, also thanks for having us here and for your insights. And uh, it's all about streaming. And the next time you think about streaming, have a look at Lightware. I think they have some good products. So thanks, Greg, for the interview. Greg, and thank you very much. Hope to see you next time again on stage. Thank you. Thank you very much. And see you in Barcelona soon. See you in Barcelona. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.